Hey guys, it's Jen, and I'm back with another process video. Before I get started, I just wanted to show you a few things that I'm going to be doing differently. I'm not using a kit today. I'm just pulling from my scraps because um, I really wanted to use some of the Heidi Swap. I bought a Heidi Swap Project Life kit, um, the gold foil one, and I wanted to use some of it. So I've got the pieces like the little embellishments that came with it in here that I'll be using as well as um, I stitched together some of the cards so some of them are from Heidi Swap like this clear one and this one these ones are from Mambi and then this one is a Heidi Swap one as well so um, I stole this idea from a friend of mine stitching a bun bunch of Project Life cards together as kind of like a little booklet and I've already pre-written my journaling in there I accidentally drew right there but I'm just gonna pretend like it didn't happen and ignore it um, but so that's what I'm gonna be using today and like I said just a few scraps from my stash and maybe some of these capture life stickers from Allison Kreft um, so that's what I will be using today now I'll put you on fast forward okay so I'm going to be using like I said some scraps for my base I'm gonna be using this really old crepe paper um, paper and it kind of looks like an old slide frame or something and I'm going to use that for my background and then I'm going to be using a few um, other scraps from my stash and as I use them I will point out what ones they are. This layout was super fast to complete because um, not counting the um, stitching of the Project Life cards and stuff it only took me about 30 minutes so that was pretty good and I'm just deciding to, because the base is creamy um, and I've got some white with those Me and My Big Ideas Project Life cards, um, I'm going to map my photo in white. So I'm just going through my white scraps to find a piece that's big enough. And so I'll just um, do a thin photo mat with that and um, mount my photo to it. And then I'm going to be layering up some different papers as well. And I'm using my Fiskars trimmer. I have a few different Fiskars trimmers and I kind of switch off between them. So this is the one I'm using today. <laughs> and um, I'm going to, I know I want to put the photo to the left and then all of that um, journaling um, to the right of it. And so that's kind of how my layout's going to come together. This striped black and white striped paper is from a basic gray paper pad and it's either hey you or hey boy or something like that. And then that polka dot paper I don't end up using but it it's I believe a Teresa Collins paper and it's from one of my previous Scraptastic kits. It's really cute. I end up not using it. I thought I would maybe cut out the P for Porter. This um, picture is a, it's a picture of my nephew Porter and he, um, I've talked in previous videos that he has cerebral palsy among other um, brain damage and different things and he every year he's a part of this program or this foundation called Children and the Earth and they have a 5k every year and so this is a photo of us doing the 5K. So that's uh, my brother-in-law holding my nephew and then my daughter and one of my nieces walking um, in the 5K. And so I'm just kind of, the journaling is just um, talking about how we do that each year and why it's important and um, just how we love our little porter. So um, that's what the layout is about. This paper is from that same collection that the that polka dot paper was from. It's Teresa Collins and again from a previous Scraptastic kit. Um, <clears throat> I got it to use the the blue um, the blue side with the writing all over it and then I flipped it over and noticed it had that pink and, and red which kind of played nicely off that Mambi card so I will end up using a little bit of the other side as well. So here I am just cutting that last little bit so now I've used up all of that paper which I love when I use up a paper that's always good. Um, and again, I'm just cutting that strip off and I'm going to put it between the black and the blue papers. I'll play around with it a bit before I decide what to do. And it was sticking out too far, so I'll trim it down a little bit. So it's kind of in between the, the length of the arrows and the blue. 
And those arrows are from a We Are Memory Keepers paper from their chalk, chalkboard, I think it's just called chalkboard line. And I'm just laying the photo and the journaling over the top to see how I might like to layer it up. I often like to make little shelves for um, the main elements of my page. So that's what I've done with these um, strips at the bottom, is created a little shelf or a home for them to sit on so they're not floating. And now I'm going through some of my Heidi Swap die cuts and things to see what I might want to add here. I thought the gold stars were kind of perfect. Um, it plays off this, the gold star that you can see on that noted card. Um, just right below where it says enjoy this, you can see through to the next card which has a little gold star on it. Plus I just thought gold stars and a race, I don't know why, it just felt right. <laughs> so so I'm going with my gut. And um, I'm going to use some of those little gold circles as well. I pulled out a few other pieces, that happy, happy, happy circle and that um, aqua heart with the gold lines on it, but I end up not using those two pieces. So now I'm going to work on my title, and I'm just going to call it Porter's Race. And I thought I would use these Allison Kreft stickers from um, they're from Echo Park's Capture Life collection, but and they would have worked perfectly except that I decided to mount my um, photo on that striped paper, so it was too many stripes. So even though I love those those letter stickers, I'm not going to use them. So I think in a second here I'm going to disappear for a second. I went to go look through my thickers. I have a lot of thickers, so I'm sure I will find something amazing. And I actually, I I think I pull out um, some black stickers in, I'm trying to remember what the font is. It's one of my favorites. It's book something. I can't remember. But there are these ones right here. They're just a chipboard thicker. And I'm just pulling out the letters to spell the word race. And I actually end up going with something else. But I'm going to stick with with these letters for a little bit. I just thought it was starting to look too black. I needed to bring a little bit more color. So you'll see me see me um, place them. I'm just trying to make it so that they'll um, kind of line up with the top of that 3x4 card. And I don't want them to go off the side really because that will create a little bit of a weird space between the edge of the title and and that other card. So um, I'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't go longer than that three inches. So I kind of have decided that I don't want to use those. So what you can't see right now is me going through um, some of my letter stickers. And I found these old October afternoon stickers. They're from the um, Rocket something collection. <laughs> They're pretty old. I got them when archivers, my local archivers closed. They had a huge sale and these were like 10 cents a sheet. So I bought a couple of them and I really like them. I'm surprised at how much I've used them. Um, this is a bit of a different layout for me, a different color scheme, a different feel of than what I usually do, but I do like the way it turned out. So it works. I didn't have a C with the um, red outline on it, so I'm digging for my other um, set of these stickers, and it was in one of my stash kits that I've made, so I had to dig through to find that really quick so I could have them all be the same. So I'm just finding that C that's the blue letter with the red outline, and I should be back any second. <laughs> Sorry for my absences in this video. Um, I wanted to, while I'm looking, oh, there I am. Um, I just wanted to remind you, if you haven't yet, please um, go back and look at my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. It's a few videos back, and today is Christmas Eve, but you have until Christmas Day at midnight, so I guess Christmas Day at 11.59, Mountain Standard Time, um, or Mountain Daylight Time. I never know which I'm supposed to say. Anyway, to enter that contest, and it's a pretty good prize, so you should definitely check that out. Thank you to all of you who have um, made such awesome comments um, on that video. 
I really appreciate it. And some of the things that you have been asking for, I wanted to let you know. Um, a lot of people said they would love to see a video room tour. I think my second video on my YouTube channel is uh, a scrap room tour. So um, if that's something that you asked for, um, please check that out. My room hasn't changed since then, but when it does, I'll do another, I'll do an update. Um, and I'll talk more about that later, but um, I'm just using some Heidi Swap, oh, not Heidi Swap, Teresa Collins stickers here. And you know what? My video totally cut off, I didn't realize. So I added a few other things. I added this little Teresa Collins sticker with a 5K, the date stamp from Chamel, and I added some water coloring um, to a few spots on the layout. I'm really sorry that that cut out, but um, I just added those gold stars and the gold circles, and um, like I said, some water coloring and just my title, and that's about it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and I have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.